Today we're able to crack some pre-release kits that are only available because of COVID. It's for, mine right here. For $25, you get a pre-release kit. And for an extra five bucks at my local game store, I was able to get two extra packs. So we're gonna start off with the packs. Okay, that's one of the um, Hallmark Uncommons right now of one of the archetypes. So that is the Lifelink black and white archetype. There you go, there's a dual land. Got ourselves a little dual land, a temple. Temples are reprinted. How's that one? They're fun. They come in tapped, but I wish they didn't. What did we get here? A little foil. Foil rare with the Animal Sanctuary. Oh, ho, ho. that's fun. So cats and dogs. Um, have some really fun card mechanics and that card I think will definitely be playable for you in the sealed uh, format So that's fun You've already got <clears throat> Black and white Might be worth and you got this black and white as well. So you already got a decent little Theme going Oh, Anwar Visionary is fun. People are sleeping on this guy. The Devils, the red one you just played. This guy here? With, yeah, it's a 3 3, but when he dies, you can do a 3 to any target for 5. It's not it's bad. Five. So that's, a, that's another. Oh, what did we have? Mangara the Diplomat. Oh, that's fun. Oh, oh yeah, well you're home. playing white, you're playing white. <clears throat> you also have the white blue flyers, that's another archetype, this is one of another, um, you could call them signposts on the commons. For wizard. Look at this, he's a 2-2 two, two for 2 with flying. Creature spells with flying cost you one less to cast, and whenever another creature with flying enters the battlefield, you're going to give this one one time a turn, that's a really playable card. Goes with my bird too. This is gonna be a good one right here, Watts. Hmm, she's okay. I don't see too many people playing her. Two, two for two with flash. If a non-token creature would enter the battlefield, if it wasn't cast its out instead. Okay. One more pack. So far you've got a foil rare animal sanctuary and a mythic Oh, you got another one of the signposts on commons. This is the green black. There's some sacrificing going on. A lot of things with mechanics that are, if something happens and during your end step, if something happened on the turn, then something else will happen. In this case, if uh, the beginning of your end step of a creature died, you could draw a card. It's really powerful and sealed. Another animal sanctuary, oh. non-foil. A Foil Sanguine Indulgence, that card is super playful, playable. Um, basically, if you gain three life, you're casting this for one. So that's nice. There's a black-white uh, life gain as well. All right, you want to open yours? So we're cracking open a pre-release kit now. This is the first one we've ever done like this. Turn around. And I think it just... Oh yeah, okay, slides out, then it, the top folds up. Okay, very cool. 
We got our life count, our roll down dice. Out of the, what do we get? The Gadrick, a foil Gadrick. Very nice. And that card's basically our free card. He can block. He's a 5-4 five, four, five, four flyer for three who can block all day. But he can't attack unless you have um, a certain amount of those four artifacts in artifacts. play. And they fill up the board very, very easily. Um, every time someone dies on your turn, you basically pull one into play. And even if you, um, over time, if he stays in play long enough, those things can be sackable for good mana sources, actually. So, hmm. really cool. Really cool card. <clears throat> I see that life counter. Did you get, was there, or was this the life counter? That's the life counter, yeah. Oh, okay. Little spacer. Nice little spacer. And we got more packs. Six packs. What? Get yourself a a mythic Garrick unleashed in your second, what, your third card into the pack? I don't even understand what just happened. It's, all these packs are backwards. You you got your your token, then your foil, and then your Garrick. So yeah, good for you. Wonderful. So you got some good green, some really good white. There's your green white. Um, this guy here, the Conclave Mentor, is a wonderful 2-2 two, two for 2. He, When he attacks, um, he gets plus 1, plus 1. Or if one oh, he's on the doubles counter. So if you put a counter on something, he puts another counter on it. And when he dies, you gain uh, life equal to its power. The, the, the green-red one, when he attacks, he gains power equal to... Um, this is my duress. Your other counter. You're not playing that. Get out of here. Okay. Now you got a hard decision to make. You might want to go try to go three colors. I don't know. Can you do it? How many mythics have you gotten so far? Two or three, right? Jeez. Okay. So yeah, so this one's these are backwards then. This is fun. He's not going to be good for a sealed deck. He's a 2-2 two, two, uh, conspicuous snoop. This goblin here is going to be good with goblin decks in standard and uh, a couple of other formats. There's combos that he plays with where you have... Uh, so basically, you play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast goblin spells from the top of your library, but you can also have another goblin in play that's a copy of a goblin that's on that, and you can make him a copy of the goblin that's on your deck. And like you can make infinite tokens and then sack them all for like mog, mog fanatics and kill somebody with it. Mm. It's pretty cool. Shrines are back. Shrines are surprisingly powerful. Here's the red white uh, signpost on common. 2-2 two, two for 2, the Alpine Houndmaster, when he comes into play, you can bring um, two more cards from your library into your hand. And he's the one that attacks and he gets the plus X, uh, plus 0 until end of turn, where X is the number of other attacking creatures that you have. He's good. I like Jester, I don't see too many people playing him so far. That's a good, go back to. This is a one green, one colorless, three three with defender who can attack if you have a creature with power four. Usually, you put a counter on him, and then it's just a four four that can attack. It's a dinosaur. Are dinosaurs affected by that land? Don't think so. No, birds, cat, dog, goat, ox, snake. That's good. Got a foil there, track down, that's fun. Volcanic, I doubt that'll be playable in there, sealed here. It decreases the price, um, or X is the total power of creatures you control. So basically, if you control like, you know, two, or th if you control three, three, threes, this would cost three. So it can be affordable if you have a bunch of creatures in play. 
Junior Havoc Dresser. <clears throat> oh, go back one. Basri's Acolyte, one of my favorite commons in white right now. He puts uh, two counters on two different creatures when he comes into play, and he has lifelink. So good. So he'll definitely be playing white. <laughs> I might have to buy that foil anime, uh, or both of those animal sanctuaries off you. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I might be making a deck with the dogs and cats. I are you going? I feel like people are going to start doing that. Are you going to do a tournament? Alright, this what guy's fun. He's super powerful one. and sealed, obviously. Sure. I wouldn't build a deck around him and sealed though. He's garbage. Uh, here's the red black sign post on common. Basically, um, you got a sack outlet here. You can sack something. Um, and there, there's some benefit cards for sacking. That's one of my favorite enchant creature cards. Gives it plus two, plus two, and first strike. Makes it annoying. First strike is pretty rare in this set, so it's actually really nice. It's getting hot. It's hot out here. Smoggy. We still got another kit. Did you forget that? No, but um. You did realize that you pulled too many for one sealed. Yeah. Uh huh. Go sleep, pilferer. I can leave this pack out. Well, I thought it would matter now. Nice. We decided to do our sealed with 10 packs each instead of six. Shacklegeist. I feel like he can be good. But you're probably not going to play blue. No. Tavern Swindler, she can be fun. Pay three, flip a coin if you win, gain six. I don't think that's fun. <laughs> oh, you got another Greenway Conclave Mentor. I wonder what colors you're going to be playing. No, um, that'll be tough for you. You're going to have the Garrick. You're going to have good white. you got two Conclave Mentors. You have the Gadrick, which you'd be missing out on, but you probably don't want to go three colors, and you have more than enough green and white to make a really strong deck, so... Alright, there was your 10 packs. Let's see those rares again. Temple of Silence, the Shacklegeist, the Ghostly Pilferer, Karavek, Volcanic Solo, Conspicuous Snoop, Garrick Unleashed, Animal Sanctuary, times two, one foil, and the Mangara. All right, you also got your Gadrick over here. Nice little pre-release foil. Okay, I'm gonna crack mine. Good luck to me. Oh, I'm excited. I haven't cracked paper packs in a long, long time. Idol of Endurance. 
A Knight of Endurance enters the battlefield, like all creature cards can be masked with mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard until I uh, Idol of Endurance leaves the battlefield until the turn you may cast a creature spell from among those cards. Right. Okay. I think that's playable. Pestilence Haze. That's fun. Foil. Vito! Oh, he's fun. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. And you can give all creatures uh, on your side life, like, for five. I think he will be playable. Don't need that. So far I have two black playable cards. Interesting. Brash Taunter. He's indestructible. When he's dealt damage, he deals that much damage to target opponent. Mm. Isn't that fun? And he can pay three and tap him to fight another creature. Gotta pump him up. Yeah, I mean, if you want his fight to be worthwhile. I'm just gonna put these over here. Okay, so far no mythics, no planeswalkers, no dual no lands. foil rares, no dual lands, nothing, nothing good at all. I think the last fifteen sealed that we've done, you've got all the mythics and all the double dual vision. Lands. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell, each turn copy that spell you may choose new targets for the copy. So I have some red. Uh, I have some red. Rares I could play, I guess. I don't find that there's enough instants and sorceries worth playing in this format right now. Um, Sublime Epiphany in foil. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Choose. Look at this. Look at the the what you get out of this. You can choose as many of these as you want to. Target player draws a card. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Return target now land permanent to its owner's hand or and counter target spell for six. Yeah, that's nice. It's a game changer. That's a game changer. That is a game changer. Six more packs. Got a nice, beautiful lap counter there. So far, I'm like in red, black, and blue. I'm not getting any white and green stuff. Oh, I got a temple too. The green black temple. You got all the signposts on commons. This is my first one. That's wonderful. You got five packs to go. Sign pass. The What's sign post on. Alternate border. What's, oh, there, where'd you see that? There is one. Yes, this is called the Planeswalker border, I think. Hmm. Speaker of the heavens. So he can be good if I'm able to gain life. If you have seven more life than your starting life, you can tap him to make a 4-4 four, four Flying Angel. I just have to have seven more life than mm -hmm. I started with. I, I'm not going to let that happen. I don't see that my current card pool is a life-gating card pool, so got another one of those, huh? Looking for that Ugin. Oh yeah. Ugin would be nice. Alright. Dual Rail. One, two, whenever you draw your second card, you turn create a two-two green cat creature token. Won't that be fun? 
Yeah, it should be very playable. Okay, so here is the Indulging Patrician. I like her very much. She's the black-white signpost uncommon. I don't know if I want to... I'll just keep her with the rest for now. Yeah, I'm just not seeing the card pool here that's going to be able to compare to your green-white that you have, but we'll, I guess what we'll find out. Ugin. Oh, I got a Gadrick. Okay. So I guess I might be playing red. I might be playing red black sacrifice. Yeah. Massacre worm. Definitely playing black. Yeah. Good luck with that. That's not going to be fun to play against if I ever get to draw six mana. Mm. Six five for six. When it comes into play, all your creatures get negative two, negative two until end of turn. You can also play that after combat. Finish things off. I'm getting a lot of the sanguine indulgences. Be something I can play. Oh, I guess I'm playing black and red. All right, let's get a Hoogan here. Let's get a Hoogan here. Ah, uh, it's not. It's a conspicuous Snoop. So, I mean, other than the massacre worm, this is about as bad as you could get from ten packs, I think. So. That will be fun to try to play these. At least you got that Garouk, though. <laughs> At least you got that Garouk. All right, let's make some decks. Pre-release kit open number two. What do we have? Oh, a little bit of garbage. Containment priest. Was it foil at least? Yeah. All right. Six packs of Core 2021. You never got to play your Garrick last round, did you? Not once. <laughs> well, I'm coming to Red White Temple. You got your black white uh, signpost. Whatever you call them. He's nasty. Oh yeah, I got a couple of nice blue cards. The face fetters is really good with um, the indulging patrician. They're a really good combo. Mm. Okay. Heroic Intervention, this is basically a huge combat trick. Mm -hmm. That's a bomb. Okay. So far, we've opened 22 packs. Or so. Did not get an Ugin or a Tutor. Or it's a cool a on. Teferi. Another volcanic salvo. Never, I put two Mind Rots in my last deck. Never got to play one um, until the end of the game when he didn't have any cards in hand anyway. Uh-oh, I see something. Rada. She's good. 
and sealed she's a beast she's the first strike on her turn she can get plus x plus um, x and uh, you can play lands from the top of the deck pretty well this guy is great he's one of the best one drops in the game if not the best uh, another one of those that one's a really fun card. That's one of my favorite uncommons right now. That would look good on that last day. Yeah, with that con the double conclave mentor and all the counters that you had. Two more packs. Ugin, Ugin. Let's go, Ugin. Whoa! Whoa! There that is. Could be worse. So that's your Ugin, the full full art Ugin, by the way. It's okay. All right. So we got your Ugin. Yeah, well, you got it. That's the thing. Uh, like you, like you tend to do. Too bad he wasn't foil, huh? It'd be a hundred bucks if you did that. It is all colorless too, huh? That's good. He comes into play, and he, he destroys all permanents that cost six or less. And then you can plus two is three damage to any target. Basically, we can play if the game ends. Maybe I'll get another one. Yeah, yeah. Here's another. Get yourself a second Ugin. That's a cool looking land. Peer into the abyss. Oh yeah, that life thing is um It's not bad. It's not the one I was thinking of. There's another card that's like uh opponent loses half their life. <laughs> and you gain something like you double your life or some crazy thing. Wonderful! Look at you getting the Ugin. Congratulations. So I just had to watch somebody else get the Ugin that I always wanted here out of Jesus Christ. The strangest thing in the whole world, I guess. It's COVID proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is Ugin here. Huh? Huh? I'll take a I'll take a Teferi here. I'll take a foil Teferi. I, I don't mind. Could be worse. Okay. Nice. Even in that plastic. Maybe. If I don't play blue with this, <clears throat> if I don't play blue with this, I might leave it in my in the plastic. Okay. So I realized I was using all my mental power to make that Ugin appear, but I was doing it on your poles, and that was a huge mistake. Huge mistake. And now this thing won't even come That's out. That's a foil with the fairy. That's good, right? Yes. Uh, this one, this one's cool. Dire Fleet War Manga, that's fun. Another veto. Okay. Wonderful. Fast Race Aquiline. What do we want? What do we want? Another Ugin. Let's get two Ugins. Bane Slayer, that's fun. Sounds tough. You know the Bane Slayer. This is a reprint. Oh, Flying for a strike lifeline protection from demons and from dragons. Also dies to Ugin. Just like everything else. Basically, you play the Ugin, 
you take six counters off of it, wipe the board, and then you just use Okay, don't look at that one. Look at that one. And then you just do three damage with a plus two. Temporary's Ageless Insight. Nice. Not, not, not real helpful. Hard for me to make a deck after having seen all this. Can you do, do I get to play the pre-release card in the sealed deck tourney? I don't even know. Right? Well, I wouldn't see it's six packs plus the one extra. I don't know. It's like a gift for playing. You get one card bonus. Another one. Another foil one. Another foil. What is this? What's better, the Ugin or those? This is cool. I've never seen that. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. That is cool. Look at this. You got three of them. I almost got a play set. Isn't that fun? You can't be upset no more. I don't know. We'll see how much it's worth. I would rather hit Ugin probably. Maybe I'll Look at that. Maybe yeah. I'll trade you. Two foils. How's the fairy? Uh, I'm about to find out. If he's a... Uh... People talk about a lot of them. These people are talking a lot about them right now. That was a little crazy. That was awesome. Another idol. I might do blue white. Who knows? I might do blue white. I got three Teferis. If I play it in a deck, I'll be sure to draw them. Not that it will matter. You just play the Ugin and then the game's over. I got one Ugin. What's that? What's that? Oh, ghostly pilfer. Boo. You're going to have to play blue. Well, yeah. I'm gonna have to play. Wow. What a pack that I got that in. One pre release kit. And I got a foil to fairy and a regular one pack. And then. I feel like somebody had to put that together. It's, it seems like Like it. somebody lined that the up. Odds. Somebody's like, oh, this will be good. Someone's going to be uh, going out of their minds for this. Okay. That's great. Congrats. Could be, could be worse. Could be worse. I wanted the Ugin, but I will take that.